Yeah, she did put it on the red spots. So Finn might not even notice. Oh, he noticed. But he didn't care. He doesn't care. Look at how dirty that pony is. Even when you brush them, if they're wet, you can still see it. It doesn't look like they've been brushed. In honor of the last day of no stirrup November, Gabby's gonna ride with no stirrups today. The Not the whole time. Are you gonna do it too? Uh, no. I think you should. It was doing really good for you. No. Poor Storm. Poor Storm. We, we rescued a reindeer, you guys. We rescued. It's a moose. Oh, we rescued a moose. She's a reindeer, but she knows a moose. We rescued a reindeer moose. I don't even know what it is anymore. All I know is that he was standing out there. I just touched your ear. He was standing out there in the soaking rain and we rescued him, brought him inside. Right, we are cooking with gas now. So we have a problem at this barn. We have a problem at this barn, and it is that Finn still does not like the mounting block. He's not used to this kind of a mounting block. It's a big, huge thing. He has to sidle up to it. It's not his thing. He does not love it. I feel like Penny would love it. Finn does not love it. Finn does not love what? This mounting block. Sophie needs to train him and make it a positive experience for him. But it's hard for her to do without somebody helping her, like a coach showing her what to do and supporting her. Instead, we all just get mad, like, just get on him, because Gabby will just pull him up there, jump on, and be done with it. But Sophie needs him to stand still for a few minutes. So we might end up just bringing our own little step stool. It is rainy, it is cold. This arena with the doors open acts like a wind tunnel, but I'm nice and toasty warm here with my big blanket. Yeah, I love how your horse is trotting with it on too. I love when he breaks, he's like a lava. He's fresh. You can ride fresh. paying attention to where he was going. Another blanket for me. Gummy and Storm look like one. All the same colors. The only thing separating them is the saddle pad. 
If you had a dark saddle pad on, Gabby, and you do have a nice dark saddle pad, it would be, you guys would just be like a robbery. Robbery on horseback. Okay, so I have a question for all you horse trainers out there. Some of you guys will probably be able to answer my question. The girls say that they do not know what I'm talking about when I ask this. So when I'm riding the Pasofino horses, I, there's a sweet spot. So we're, can, canter, we're cantering along, cantering along, and I'm putting my feet in the stirrups and I'm scooping my bum. But then there's this few strides every once in a while where it's like I'm floating in the saddle, like I'm just floating. And it could go for two strides, could go for four strides. Every once in a while, I get it going. So like for a good while, and it just feels the most glorious feeling. All right, it's safe to say that this horse goes walk, trot, canter with reindeer ears on. Like he is a saint. Isn't he such a saint? Yeah. See where she's going with that? She says that he's not responsive to anything. Except for spurs. Except for spurs. <laughs> That's why she needs spurs. So today you're gonna do it again? No. Yeah. You can sit a little buck. Finn has hardly bucked lately. Remember, just ask him to go slow. I know, when you lean forward and you ride, when you lean forward, it means go fast. When you lean forward, he thinks you want to go faster. I know. <laughs> well, Storm's different. Well, yeah, because that's like driving him forward. Walk, trot, canter, jumps. Our reindeer walk, trots, canters, and jumps, you guys. So, back to my question. There's a sweet spot that I groove that I get in when I'm riding at the Pasofino Farm. And I don't know. I like to recreate it every time I ride, every time I canter, every time I gallop. I don't know what causes it, though. It's this... They almost crashed. You didn't scream it out, Gabby. So, yeah, like, I wish I had got that, but they literally almost collided. Sidestepping across the diagonal. Yeah, I feel like he's used to that. So, yeah, so there's this sweet spot. I want to recreate it. I don't know what I'm doing to, to cause it, and I don't know what it is. But does that happen to you guys? My girls say that it's make-believe, I'm not that it's not real. But there's this feeling where it feels like I'm just floating above the horse's back. Like I don't touch. I, I don't know. It's the weirdest sensation, but it is the most glorious sensation, too. is your horse shaking his head today? A lot. Not a lot. Compared to other rides, he's hardly doing it anymore. But he's also kicking it. He's excited to go, but then when I ask him to canter, he kicks out.
When I look at you now, there's no trace. I guess it's all been erased. You tell me that it's over, that we just hurt each other. Every time you ride him, I love riding him. I really like La Roca at the Pasofino farm. She's amazing. I like Penny the best though. Sylvia, you have so many more new skills than you ever had before. She was telling me earlier that riding at the Pasofino farm has really taught her a lot too. And I say the same thing. Every time we go to the Pasofino farm and I ride, I'm like, wait, that was so hard last time I did this. And this time it's just so easy. Like I can never, I can never figure out, like, I always change and learn so much from each ride there. Like I I've learned to ride at that place with no instruction. Just get on and ride. Sophie, you going to jump the big one? Come on, you can do a lead change on him. You need to start learning lead changes. You need to learn them. Gabby was this age when she started learning. It took her a whole year. How do I convince my parents to buy me a horse? Well, I'll tell you this. You buy, your, you buy your kid a horse, you come and you sit and you watch them ride, and they will talk to you and talk to you and share their lives with you. And I know a lot of times when kids get to be teenagers, they shut down and they stop sharing their life with you, but when they have something like a horse to love them and train and grow with, they come back to you. So that's my answer. If you want to try and talk your parents into buying you a horse, say, Mom, if you buy me a horse, I would love you more and I will spend more time with you and I will share my life with you. Don't you know?